Hey everybody, I'm here with Tyler McNair of Tyline Custom Discs, and uh, we're out at the 25th annual Minnesota Majestic. We've seen some awesome action today. Ken Climo out there tearing it up. Will Schustrick doing well. But Paul Macbeth has taken down the day today, shooting a 71, tying for the course record. Uh, it's been some great action today. Tyler, yeah. what are some highlights you've enjoyed? Well, actually, I was, uh, saw Paul hit basket on 27. It's like a 360 some foot shot. And uh, we also saw Dustin Honnold deuce the uh, 700 plus foot uh, 18, which was pretty impressive. Uh, he had like a 400 some foot shot go in. That was pretty cool. Um, a lot of really solid golf, really consistent golf. Um, yeah, it's been been a great time out here. Blue Room Pines. Cool. We're, we're very excited to have all the guys from the Nonstop Disc Golf Tour here in town playing the tournament this uh, this year. And uh, Tyler, what are you doing to help them out? You got a fundraiser going on? Yeah, we're actually doing a fundraiser to help Nonstop Nonstop Disc Golf. I don't know if, if most people have noticed that they've been going around the country, uh, going to schools, teaching kids how to play, introducing the game to a lot of people, and uh, just wanted to help them along the way and get some discs in the hands of those kids that they're helping out. So we actually did a cool project yesterday, uh, went to downtown St. Paul and did uh, uh, what we called Performance Dice, the first edition, and uh, that video should be coming out either uh, tonight or tomorrow, sometime soon. Um, so we had nonstop with Kem Climo joining and uh, basically put some dye on some discs and was throwing them into the uh, skyline of St. Paul, so it was kind of cool. We're also going to actually put all those discs online uh, for a silent auction. They'll be at uh, facebook.com backslash tie dye disc golf and then also on the nonstop disc golf website um, they'll be available starting tomorrow evening and uh, each guy will uh, autograph the discs that they threw and uh, it's kind of a one of, one of a kind thing it was pretty fun uh, you know if they hit a tree it would be tree marks on it or in the grass or whatever it was uh, it was all their energy going into the disc so it was, it was, a, it was a cool time good experience that's very cool. Cool fundraiser for disc golf. Now, are you doing something also for uh, local use here in Minnesota next year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're going to be starting up what I'm calling the uh, Minnesota Youth Disc Golf Experience. Uh, starting uh, next spring, I'm going to be doing a uh, traveling youth clinic that's going to go from town to town in, in the Twin Cities, and we're going to uh, basically teach kids the fundamentals of disc golf and introduce the game to them and get them out there playing and experiencing the sport that we all love. So it's a uh, it's going to be a good time and we're going to do it right, uh, you know, the right kind of plastic, uh, the right kind of technique and uh, really, you know, teach them how to do it. So it should be a blast. We're also, I uh, forgot to mention, we're doing a disc drive this weekend for nonstop. So uh, bring out any old, understable, slightly used plastic that you may have um, and stop at the tie-dye table at Highland uh, Saturday night or Sunday and uh, donate, donate a disc or two. Um, and then we'll also just be doing a dollar donation for for them as well, uh, just to raise a little money for them to, to buy some more discs for kids. So, yeah. Help support disc golf. There's going to be a lot of good action this weekend. Make it out on Sunday, the final nine in Highland. It's going to be awesome. There's always a big crowd spectating. So, Stay tuned for more videos to come.